That 70s Remodel, a Build Original Series, is brought to you by Huber Engineered Woods. This home started with all the usual 1970s problems. Dated design, poor insulation, and inefficient materials that just couldn't keep up with today's standards. But this isn't just a cosmetic update, it's a full performance overhaul, and that starts with the building envelope. Upgrading the enclosure to Zip System R sheeting helped us boost the home's thermal performance while streamlining our install. It gave us a continuous exterior insulation and a built-in water-resistive barrier all in one step. In Utah's variable climate, we rely on Zip System products for both remodels and new builds. They help us manage moisture, air leakage, and insulation without overcomplicating the wall assembly. With Zip System and Inveant Tech, we get fewer steps, faster installation, and job site durability that holds up even when the weather doesn't cooperate. These are trusted brands among top builders for a reason. Reliability, performance, and ease of use on real world job sites. Learn more and check out available rebates at huberwood.com. Hey guys, Stephanie Daly with Stephen Daly Construction. We are back at that 70s remodel. This is episode nine and our hopeful last and final blower door test. So Brett, thank you so much for coming back again. You bet, my pleasure. Round three. Yes. So little recap, our very first blower door test, we came in at a 7.2. I, I think a 7.2 which actually surprised me. I know I've said that every time, but I'm really shocked with how it was built. Then we came back and tested kind of midway through construction. And the very first test we ran was over an eight. Yes. <laughs> and we realized we had a bunch of open holes because we redid all the HVAC system. We didn't have any furnaces installed. There was just air leaking everywhere. Yeah. So a few things that have happened since then, we've installed all the furnaces. Brett had an amazing recommendation, I guess, for all of our upstairs light fixtures. Mm -hmm. So we had the insulator come through with like a foam pack and spray around the top of all the light boxes upstairs. And those are all just traditional fixtures. They're not cans. So that was easy to try and help tighten some of that up. Yep. We also insulated the attic. <laughs> The attic wasn't insulated last that, time. That helps. Yeah, and that was another big thing that I think we were noticing when you were going through the house with your, what, it, what is the tool you use called? I have an infrared camera okay. that, that I use, and that's what we were noticing with the light fixtures and any penetration through that ceiling area was leaking a little bit of air. Yeah. So a lot of small areas equate to a big... Big number. Big number. <laughs> well, and I think too, like not having the attic insulated, it was cold. It just, it wasn't a great idea. So we have the attic insulated now. We've foamed all the top of the light fixtures. We have all of our furnaces installed. I think we're ready to- I think so. I think we're ready was, to go. It was a great test too, because I think it highlighted a few areas of concern that may not have been found otherwise or at a later date. I agree 100%. I am actually really glad we did that midway through test because I do think that like that gave us the opportunity to do a few different things. Even when the HVAC contractor added our upper level furnace, they actually ended up panning the entire ceiling in that space, which was yeah. great because you and I found a ton of leaks in there. Yep. So I do agree. I think that was smart to test it midway through. It gave us the opportunity to make some changes and fix things up. So yep. let's give it a go. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, hey, so we've already done a, uh, a baseline pressure test. So we're measuring the pressure difference outside versus inside. Okay. So we're ready to, to fire it up and see how things go. I can already tell with the speed of the fan that, that we are quite a bit better. So. I'm so happy. <laughs> yep, there's a couple things we might want to check. Okay. Already, big, big improvement. That's insane. Yeah. Just with an exterior remodel, I mean, agreed, the second you turned the fan on, it was a noticeable difference yes. from the last few times we've done this. So what would you check? What do we want to? So I want to go around the uh, 
just just do a quick once over of the entire exterior of the house on so the walls the ceiling area just to see if there's anything that was perhaps missed with the pre-walk okay and and while while the fans running let's see do if it anything like that's i'm gonna grab the camera and follow you so one of the things that helps with the fan running is if there is an air leak it's it's highlighted with the fan itself oftentimes we can just feel that a lot of those areas that we found last time i can already tell are well and i think too up. you know one of the key points to this was like we didn't really do much of an interior remodel yeah. You can see some of those patches where we had to cut some holes to bring in mm. like our condensing lines. The homeowner actually came through and redid all the trim around the windows, the new windows we did. So nice. he did an excellent job. Yeah. But outside of that, like our goal was to not do much inside. And it then really, obviously really haven't. we added this, but the HVAC contractor, I think, did an incredible job sealing up the huge, ceiling in there and huge difference it looks like people have been obviously up there since since we taped that yep there's some air coming in around there you can tell the attic access isn't fully seated down so we could manipulate that a little bit to get a little bit better seal but overall i mean that looks a ton better than it did last time oh yeah oh yeah so and those light fixtures no air movement. That is a huge difference. Picture. This was one where we found a pretty big leak around it, and that foam pack really just sealed that up. Yep. And difference. these ducts, we did find, like, as we were looking through these ducts, there was a lot of not just cold air on the register, which we traditionally see, right? but we could actually see the duct runs. Yes. The last time we did this, and now we're at and a much better... Point. And we could still, because the ducts are moving a different temperature air through mm -hmm. them, you oftentimes can still see them even with a insulated attic. So, you, so the duct, you can still just barely, barely see. Yep. It's right there. But I don't see the cold air fingers coming out like we saw last time. So there's a fair amount of air coming in the drain line. Oh, really? So if we were to add water to fill the trap, so it's pulling. That's interesting. We should do that. All right. So we made a couple quick adjustments. Yep. We taped up around the attic access. Just people have been moving in and out. The attic access was built who knows when, so it's not super tight. So sealed that up. And then we found a couple pretty small holes. Yeah, through the drywall in the mechanical room where the furnace is upstairs. Not much. Not, not a whole lot. So we were at a 3.9 yes. when we started this. And we're going to run it again and see if sealing those few things up. I would love to get to a 3.5 because that would mean we're cut in half. From our original test, yeah, it would be so half. So we're going to run it. Air. We're going to run it one more time and we'll see how much that helped. Bit. Three point eight. So it did, it did make a difference. It did make a difference. Yeah. Well, that's still like, I mean, that's a pretty big difference between the beginning and now. Absolutely. So that did actually help a little bit, but we got down to about a three point eight, kind of bouncing between three point nine and three point eight. But starting at what was our first one? Seven point one nine, I believe it was about a seven point two air changes per hour. Yep. Which is. A lot of air movement. It is a lot house. of air movement. It was interesting to just be able to feel like the speed of the fan change from the first time we did it to the middle test yeah. to today. You yeah. can noticeably see a huge difference. So Brett, walk me through like, what does this mean for the homeowner going forward long-term? So a big thing with, with energy usage in a house is obviously insulation is great, but that insulation isn't gonna do anything if they've got cold air coming in in the winter time replacing all the warm air that's in the house. Right. So they're gonna be constantly heating, reheating in the yep. wintertime, cooling, recooling in the summertime. So air sealing is a huge factor yeah. in an energy efficient home. Well, and the one thing that we also added when we switched out all the HVAC equipment was we added an ERV. And the reason we added that ERV is because we knew we were gonna be much tighter than we were originally. 
And we also wanted to be bringing in clean air, fresh air, and also tempering that air before we bring it in. So that also is gonna help significantly with our just like daily cost savings as far as usage from utilities. Yes, yep, absolutely. And, and with air sealing, you don't want to create another problem by sealing it up too tight. So the, yep. the HRV or the ERV that yep. you installed is great. That's yeah. gonna eliminate any, any concern with that. I think this overall has turned out to be such a cool project. And I think, you know, our goal was to just remodel the exterior. Mm -hmm. The homeowner is a big build show fan. So air sealing and having good quality building materials and all the things that we talk about all the time on build show were top priority for him. So this has been a really cool experience for me to be able to have you come up here and do these tests throughout the whole process and just kind of see if we're on a budget, because remember this is a really budget friendly remodel. We did this for about $200,000. We basically stripped the exterior, redid it. We not only did we make a significant image difference to the outside oh, of this amazing. house, <laughs> We also saved them a ton as far as energy usage going forward. And I think we made a huge difference as far as the house's health, like the healthiness of the house, and also just how long this house is now gonna be living for. This house is gonna have a lot more potential to be a longer lasting build than it would have from the get-go because it was kind of on its way to being a teardown with the amount of damage we were seeing from termites and carpenter ants and mold and water and everything else. So we actually did something really, really cool. So not only did we make it beautiful, but I think we saved this house from getting torn down in the future. And it's amazing. This will turn into be a really, really cool Airbnb for the future. So if you're looking to come stay in Utah, keep your eyes out for this. Brett, this has been huge. Thank you. I know you are Southern Utah mostly, but why don't you tell everybody if you guys are in Utah and looking for insulation or blower door tests, how can they find you and what do you offer? Yeah, so uh, my company name is Indoor Air Seal and we uh, primarily work in Southern Utah, but um, for cool projects like this, I'll go I'll go wherever. Yeah. I, I love homes where you, you test in, find the problems, yeah. figure out a solution, fix them, and then be able to verify that those worked. Yeah, I think your, your skill of being able to diagnose for me the areas that we could put a little more effort into, yeah. that made a huge difference. So I appreciate your expertise. Yeah, no, so. it's, it's fun. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So yeah, we're on uh, um, Google, Facebook, awesome. um, indooraireseal.com. Cool. So yeah, let us know if we can help you with your project. Yeah, if you guys are in Utah, please reach out to Brett. This has been a fantastic experience. I'm so excited. We nearly cut everything in half, basically, from where we were to today. Took We, we dropped three air changes per hour. That's a huge which deal. Which is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's amazing feat without remodeling hardly anything on the inside. On the inside, yeah. So there you go, guys. This blower door test thing actually worked out in my favor. To be honest, I was a little nervous this morning, <laughs> especially considering our mid test was higher than our first test. I kind of freaked out. But even as you and I are walking through, we're talking about some of those areas where we had cut open pathways to get our condensing lines and yeah. things. Just having the drywall crew come back through and patch up those holes made a huge difference in addition to everything else. So. Yep. And Correct. we see that with the results. So yeah. pretty, pretty awesome. So cool. Thank you so much for coming up here. My pleasure. You guys know you can find Brett, Google, Indoor Air Seal. You can find me on Instagram or TikTok at Stephanie Builds It. And stay tuned. We have one more episode where I'm going to walk you through the before and afters of that 70s remodel. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.